Hey everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are going to share with you our favorite pizza sauce recipe. This recipe only has two ingredients, which are peeled San Marzano tomatoes and salt. That's it, just two ingredients and there's no cooking required. This pizza sauce is light and fresh and it goes really well with just about any toppings. So if you're interested in finding out how we make our favorite pizza sauce, stay tuned and let's get started. Add the peeled tomatoes, San Marzano tomatoes to a mesh strainer over a bowl and use your hands to squeeze and crush the tomatoes. This is going to help release the moisture that's inside of the tomatoes. And we're gonna let that drain into the bowl. And this will help to give us a thicker pizza sauce. So just use your hands to crush and move this around. And you'll see it's still just coming out the bottom. You can use a can of already crushed tomatoes if you can find them. You'll still want to drain most of the liquid from those if that's what you get. Okay, that looks thick enough. So what I'm going to do is transfer this to a WEC jar. You can use any kind of glass jar or container that you have. A funnel makes this a little less messy but because this is so thick, I'm just going to use my hands, especially since it's already dirty, to transfer this to this jar. Okay, I'm going to go uh, set this aside. You can use this juice for soups or any ingredient, I mean uh, any recipe that calls for tomatoes juice. All right, because every can of tomatoes has a different sodium level, it's important to not, not to add too much salt to begin with. So I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon. I find that's usually salty enough for my, for my taste. And I'm gonna Mix that in. Okay, at this point you can stop. If you like a really chunky pizza sauce, then this is probably what you're looking for. But if you don't like a chunky pizza sauce, let me show you what you can do. Take an immersion blender and blend this until it's as thin as you like it. So just put it all the way down and give it a few pulses. And then just pull it up a little bit. You don't want to pull it all the way out. And then I just kind of pull it out, put it back in, and pulse. And that way it doesn't make too, too big of a mess. All right, so let me put that to the side. Oops, that is not a problem. We'll clean it up one second. That is what we have our towel for. Always keep a towel when you're making this close by because it can get a little bit messy. Okay, so that's the pizza sauce. 
you want to taste this to make sure that it has enough salt. This is just a nice fresh pizza sauce. It uh, doesn't have a whole lot of seasoning in it and that way the ingredients of your uh, pizza will shine through more than the sauce, but it's got the fresh flavors of the San Marzano tomatoes and just that touch of salt for, it's just a fabulous pizza sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste this just to make sure it has enough salt for me. Mm, to me, that's perfect. I'm gonna put the top on this container and place it in the fridge until we're ready to use it. Our pizza crust recipe makes four eight inch pizzas and this is enough to cover all four of those pizzas. So that's it, just store this in the fridge till you're ready.